Hey folks, just on our way home from our trip in North Myrtle Beach, and here's a place that uh, we usually like to stop uh, to usually get some fresh strawberries and some other produce. They got a lot of other things besides strawberries too. It's called McLeod Farms, and you see it behind us, and it's right here off of Highway 151. So um, you see the signs from both directions before you ever get to it. There's a lot of signs for it. They've got really uh, large peach orchards right next to the property. And I'm sure when the peaches come in, they have a lot of peaches to sell as well. But since we're coming here this weekend, we usually like to get some strawberries. So uh, we're going to stop. We're going to show you around here at McLeod Farms. So go with us. Here at McLeod Farms, they have very ample parking. Uh, if it was really, really crowded, there's plenty of space to park. They can even accommodate larger vehicles pulling uh, campers and things like that. So uh, plenty of parking here. So we're gonna show you around inside. But first, I wanna walk up here and see this. Show you just a little bit of the outside here. Yep, the outside eating areas. You can see one of the peach orchards behind us. Uh, well, there's one behind us and then that one in front of us. Actually, they're very large. Uh, the camera's not even gonna show the whole uh, size of that thing. But then there's another one back over here behind us. So I am sure during when peaches start coming in, they would have a lot of peaches as well. So let's walk on in. Okay, so here's the front of the building right here. And they got some rocking chairs over here on the front porch. Just to relax. So let's go in here. There's actually more to it than just this building. get uh, some ice cream. Here's the ice cream stand in the bakery and it looks like they've already got some peaches or nectarines one already in. So they've got fresh breads. Yes it smells very good in here. They got muffins, peach, banana nut, strawberry and blackberry. They got one of each in the containers. They got peach turnovers, strawberry turnovers. Zucchini bread, fruit cake, banana nut bread, coconut pies down there, coconut cream pies down there on the bottom. There's coconut pies, I guess. Anyway, here's the menu. So you can get a peach bread, apple, sweet potato, pumpkin, or strawberry bread. there. They got peach enchilada on the menu. Sandy, that's um, that's for you. Let's take a look at it right here. Peach enchiladas right there. That's green. First baked pies. Peanuts, you can get some hot boiled peanuts. Looks like they got original and Cajun. So 
over here in the produce section, they got watermelons, $8. That's pretty good size watermelons. Seedless ones are nine. So. I'm surprised they got peaches in already. So they got a Memorial Day special on strawberries. You can get a gallon for $15, a two quart basket for $11, or a quart for $7. white peaches yeah, big old blackberries all kinds of other stuff popcorns Candy. candies you can buy bags of frozen sweet corn blanched and frozen sweet corn we learn when we freeze corn at home you do want to blanch it to keep it tasting good didn't know that first time we tried it we know it now. So we got some bagged beans, lima beans, pintos, black eyed peas. If you like ciders, they got strawberry, muscadine, apple. Homemade barbecue sauce, that's a gallon size right there. Kind of an odd color for barbecue sauce. I wonder if that's a mustard base. It's, that's, that's, that's tomato paste, vinegar. A lot of times in South Carolina they go with a mustard based barbecue sauce. Happy Home line of flavorings. We use many of those. Honey preserves. Apple butter, peach preserves. Maybe even got their own t-shirt. I said Hartsville. I made a mistake. I should have said McBee, South Carolina. So I'll have to get that right in the title. But uh, yes, we are in McBee, South Carolina. Hartsville, I guess we already came through. Where's the pictures at? Blueberry jam, all kinds of jams and ciders. Peach cider, one of my favorites down there on the bottom. So the uh, skinny bottles down there, I guess that's quart, I'm guessing. Those are six, what'd you say those were? 686. 686 and the half gallons 882. Yeah. That's an odd shaped little thing for apple cider. So did you find us some strawberries that look good? Not yet, I haven't. Is this not a little early for peaches? This is June, so maybe there's June, June Prince, yellow clean stone. Okay. Here's some of their breads. They got the sweet potato bread, peach bread, and those are $4.79 each. One thing with the sweet potato and the peach, they put nuts on top of them. I'm not a big fan of that. They got almonds on these and pecans on the sweet potato. The apple bread, they don't. That looks really good. And there's the strawberry bread. Find us some. I did. Okay. Anything else you want? No, no, I don't think so. All right. But the produce uh, store is not all they've got here. They've actually got a meat store over here, and they've got a museum with a lot of antique farm equipment.
some old tractors. So I'm gonna walk over here and take a look at that. I even see a couple of old fire engines. over here look at some of this some old stuff here now now that's interesting on that tractor I have always heard of Massey Ferguson that says Massey Harris so I'm guessing I'd have to do some research on that. Maybe before it was Massey Ferguson and that was the name of it. I'm guessing. We got a strawberry. Looks like it's got a rotten spot in the middle of it. Oh no, that's, oh okay. What's your blue tongue all about? Oh, is it blue? That's yeah, do that cream. again. I had blue cream soda. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> That was very nice. And that old tractor there, my goodness. That's a Fordson. All right, so if you know what this is, we have an idea. Leave it in the content, uh, the comments. So it, it, see inside here. What was moving? I'll do that again. Go over to the other side. Of the we think we know. Merry go round. Look at this thing here. This old truck, delivery truck, 1913. Wow. Look at that. Oh, old hard rubber tires there. Pretty neat. So the museum is open seven days a week, nine to five. And it's free. It's free. Now I don't think we've ever been in here. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> Little Volkswagen Beetle. That's a 49 Studebaker. Are we allowed to walk over? I don't know if we are or not. So I'm gonna stay. It says don't touch, so I don't know if that means we're allowed to go over there and just not touch or not. But. Old telephones here, look at these. Yes, younger generation, that's what a phone used to look like. And you didn't carry it with you everywhere you went. <laughs> and all it did was make and receive calls. Oh, right, look at that. I guess that was a switchboard back in the yeah, day. Yeah, look at that. I guess this is how they used to curl their hair back in the day. I am very glad they don't still do it. Wow. That's <laughs> kind of scary.
corn sheller. I'll go back over and get the rest of those old cars here in a minute. There's an early Maytag washer there. Foot on the pedal starts the multi motor at its task. Wow. <laughs> Old record players. Thank you. We enjoyed it. Absolutely. Thank you. Yes, they are. 1940 Buick right here. Look at that. Twenty-three Ford. This is just the first section. That's a lot more. Look how shiny those things are. I used to have one of those. <clears throat> I'm glad they got signs in the windows telling y'all what each one of these are because <laughs> I would have only known a handful of them and just been able to guess at the years. That would go 55 miles an hour. A Rambler. Now, I was brought home from the hospital when I was born in a red Rambler. I don't remember it, obviously, but I've seen pictures of it. 63 Dodge Dart. <laughs> and a 41 Plymouth. Phonograph. Yep, used to have one of these too. Who remembers those? Well, that's a sleek looking outfit there, isn't it? Yes, it is. So it says 1951 Hudson. Is that, is that the same thing as a Hudson Hornet? Is that a Hudson Hornet? Hornet? It don't say Hornet. 
Now that I don't know the answer to that. A little Doc Hudson there, ain't it? So those were, that was a faster car, I guess. Shield. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I guess you can <clears throat> vent it that way. Yeah. If you remember back in the 70s and even 80s, most cars had a little separate. Yeah. I guess that was like a smoker's a little yeah. vent to the window there. I don't know of any cars that has those now. I don't either. Pretty much, yeah, I see several of them over there. Like this up at the farm. Oh, yeah, Tonka. That we used to play with. There's your redneck fish oh, finder. If you're from the south, south you understand that. <laughs> That's still not all. Look where that was at. Look where that was built. North Wilkesboro, uh, yeah. North Carolina. That's uh, my side of the family on my dad's side was uh, from Wilkes County. So. There's a sugar cane press. Right, so let's look at these tractors. They're still not done in yet. I don't know how to get all of them. Ford tractor there. Wait, there's John Deere goes back a long way. Yeah, that's all your grandpa would ever use in your uh, farm inside of the family yeah. in Minnesota. They use John Deere's exclusively. He would not even call us by our last name because of the new Holland brand. Um, he would call us the John Deere family. John Deere is out of Moline, Illinois, I believe. Finally, the last thing we're going to show you on here is the meat market. I'm not sure how interesting the meat market's going to be after all those antiques, but anyway, if you want you some fresh meats, let's see what they got here. Sorry for that glare. I don't know if I can get yeah. We'll see how I'm going to avoid that. Burger, they actually, I guess they'll cook that up for you. I don't know how well you can see that with the glare on it. Pretty extensive menu there. Okay. 
it's actually closed. It's actually closed, so. Anyway, I wonder if we can get a little bit of the inside there. Eh, not too, not too good. But. All right, well, we're gonna go on back and start hit the road and give our final thoughts on this place. Give you another glimpse of the peach orchards. At least one of them, a couple of them anyway. Again, there's one behind us as well, but let you see these as we go by. Okay, well we just left McLeod Farms. Now, I'm gonna let Shawnsy go first as usual and give her impressions of the place. So. I love it, I think it's great. Um, always got fresh produce, we always get their strawberries. They're always good. Um, a lot of people were in line getting ice cream. That looks good, their bakery stuff always smells so good. And actually going through the museum there, that was very interesting, I enjoyed that a lot. So I think it's a great stop. Yeah, um, we have stopped there several times to get strawberries. I think I may have walked over and just seen the stuff outside one time. I had no idea everything that was inside of there. I don't think I've ever been through that inside uh, building, but that was quite an antique shop there. I uh, really thought y'all would want to see that. And I was talking with a gentleman inside the, the antique store, the guy who was watching over it, and he said, and he was right, he said, this is just a great place if you're on your way to the beach or whatever to stop, stretch your legs, get a, get a snack, get some produce. Uh, walk around and see what they got there. Really, really some neat stuff. You saw the old cars, the old trucks, the old tractors, the old farm equipment. Really, really fascinating uh, to just see how they did things back then, how they got around. And, uh, much different time than what we have today, but um, got a lot of respect for people that lived back then, the way they worked hard and, and um, did with what they had. So uh, that's definitely worth a stop. McLeod Farms, McBee, South Carolina, Hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. I was, uh, I was already planning to do a video here, but I'm, I'm impressed with that museum. I was not expecting to be able to include all that. I was expecting just to show you a little produce place that had some ice cream and some pies, but this video turned out to be a lot more than that. So I hope y'all like this. Uh, if you do, like and subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And find and follow us on Facebook. And have a wonderful day.